Well, good morning and welcome back to White Rock uh, Homestead's Kitchen. So I need to use up what flour I have left before I add new flour into my flour bin. And I have just enough that, let's make some chocolate chip cookies, y'all. And they're not just any chocolate chip cookies. They are my soft batch cream cheese chocolate chip cookies. So come on, let's go. I'll show you how it's done. Alright guys, we're going to start with a uh, half cup of butter, softened. I kind of melted mine a little bit here, but it's okay. Just work with it. And about a quarter cup of cream cheese, softened also. And we're going to cream that together till it's really well incorporated. You're gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And give that a little mixy mixy. I'll speed it up for you guys. We want to do one fresh egg. And continue to mix that together. You want to add one teaspoon of baking soda and two teaspoons of cornstarch. We're going to go in with about a quarter teaspoon of salt, give or take however you like it. And mix that real well together. And go ahead and toss in some brown sugar. I'm using three quarter cups here. We're going to get that nice and creamed together. Now comes the flour and I'm just using all purpose flour. And you're going to want to slowly start to add your two and a quarter cups of the flour, but turn your beaters down before you start adding or it's just going to really just fly everywhere. Don't ask me how I know. And it's going to start getting thicker as you're adding the flour. That's okay. We're just going to love it through it. We're going to just keep on beating it. And it'll all get incorporated. Oh, yummy goodness. 
And now you get to add your chocolate chips. You can add as many as you like. Uh, I, I like a medium amount or more towards the lesser side. Add more if you want. And did y'all know you can reuse your parchment paper? You don't have to throw it away every single time that you cut off a piece. So I've got some saved and I'm just gonna go ahead and place those down. If you're lucky, you reuse them on the same size and it will fit perfect. And then you wanna grab your dough and start rolling it into a ball patting them out because these will not spread the way a normal cookie will. So here you see me just kind of patting it and putting it into the, the shape that I would like. And like I said, they're not going to, these do not, uh, expand much they get a little taller but they don't really expand out and with this recipe you'll have just enough to fill up you know maybe a large and a medium uh cookie sheet and here they are coming out of the oven you want to pop them in the oven sorry i don't have that footage i must have not hit press play a preheated 350 degree oven Oh, and they are so good, y'all. You only want to cook them for about nine minutes. Okay, you can have a cookie now. Okay. No, one. It is. One. It's one tray. One cookie. Oh, yeah. Good job, baby. And that is the most easiest cookie ever. Quick. Oh, soft and moist. Mm, give it a try. He ain't complaining. Oh, no. Would you want some milk? Probably. All right. You guys can take it from here. Bye.